Hey everyone, your girl is back. To any of my newcomers, my name is Bella, also known as Goddess Bell Keys. And this is the healing channel, Empress Be Healer. I, I want to, uh, you know, this was guided just to come and give you guys uh, all signs, collective energy message. So a collective reading, love, and we already have messages coming out. We have love, career, you know, the, just what needs to be, what, oh, a lot came out. So we got a lot going on. I'm telling you, this summer solstice, we have a lot going on at this time. The energies are really beautiful. They are really beautiful at this time. So we have, let's just see, with the bottom of the deck is the queen. Can I stand this up? The Queen of Cups. All right. So we do have some past energy. There were some darker times. Some things were intense because we have the Nine of Swords. So our energy of really just feeling stuck or feeling binded or feeling uh, stagnant. You could have been around individuals uh, that were making you feel that way. You know, we don't want to put that so much on other individuals because you are a responsible adult on uh, this planet we call Earth, right? But sometimes, you know, individuals do get caught up and uh, caught in the web with individuals. There's relationships, situations, there's family where individuals do get web together get entangled together in situations so you got to really be careful then we have the five of pentacles so this is really getting getting out of any type of codependency getting out of any type of lack getting getting out of any anything of feeling abandoned all right because somebody could have made you feel abandoned you could have been dealing with somebody that was making you feel abandoned okay we have the hermit the chariot the nine of pentacles justice the Nine of Swords, and then the Knight, the Knight of Cups. So with the Two of Cups here, it, it is there is this love energy that is coming together, right? But it's been very difficult. It's been very hard because someone wasn't really coming forward. Uh, they were more caught into the logical part of the situation and, you know, really taking advice from other individuals that didn't see a relationship this is looking like it's coming out to be love i'm gonna take i'm gonna go with it there's no pentacles here but it looks like this was some sort of a situation where you know other individuals was not supportive of what this love was with this two of cups but we have the nine of pentacles here where you really had to just step away and discover and find what love meant to you love meaning as far as your own self-worth and really just diving deep in into not being focused on somebody leaving you out in the cold you know somebody not expressing to you how they feel for you somebody ghosting and um with the hermit card could be dealing with a virgo but somebody either ghosting or somebody needing to go within which could have been you viewer that was watching you could have been the one that needed to go within because if some things just felt um very stagnant it didn't feel like it was going forward it kept repeating uh the cycle just kept repeating itself you didn't feel the growth you didn't feel the love from that but there is the chariot so this energy is moving forward it is no longer in the stuff energy with the justice here the scales are weighing itself is also that myot energy so uh individuals hearts are being judged at this time uh you're really going to be discovering those that were really intentionally here for you or wasn't here for you you're really going to be seeing whose intentions was what who was who came in just to see if they could use you if they could play games with you you know, some people are just, um, sadly enough, some people are just bored and, you know, they talk a lot of fucking shit and um, they play around with people's hearts, minds, and emotions, okay? But all that's being, all of that is being sent back to whoever, whoever that is, 
with the nine of swords here. Yeah, so there's the, the healing has begun. Healing has begun, um, you know, going forward. It looks like you would be in the energy of just not repeating a same cycle, no matter what, really choosing yourself, tapping into yourself. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to look at some tarot real quick and, and clarify that we have the Knight of Cups here. So somebody is wanting to come in and be romantic. They, they, uh, you know, this was something that they had themselves to heal from. Okay, so there is romance on the horizon. I'm seeing that, you know, somebody's really wanting to take you. It may be a road trip. Somebody may want you to just go somewhere, travel with them. You know, maybe, you know, nothing, um, nothing extravagant. You know, just, just a little bit of that one-on-one -on -one time. All right. I didn't want to make this too long, so I'm just going to clarify with some tarot. Thank you, beautiful Holy Spirit, for these messages for the collective at this time. So this is for all signs. This is for all signs, okay? Thank you for my new subs. Thank you for my day one subscribers. Guys, hit the like button. All right. And then hit that notification bell so then when I upload any new videos, you guys will get you will get the notification. All right, so I'm just going to take a few. Okay, just to clarify what is going on automatically out. Can we see that? Can we see that? Maybe if I go back, 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 I don't know. Four of Wands. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an Aries or you could be dealing with a Leo. But the Four of Wands is that, excuse me, that four energy, that foundation, that stability. This is the also the Twin Flame card. So if that is resonating with you, whether it's a Twin Flame, Soul, soul Flame, Twin Ray, or High Level Soulmate, Divine Soulmate, uh, this could have been a relationship or something that has been difficult to come forward, but that stability is there. So you are in the grounded, balanced energy. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is total love. Yeah, we have the two of cups twice. So confirmation here with the two of cups. This is a very divine, high divine love connection right here. It is also, when I see the two of cups, I think of your own divine masculine, your own divine feminine divinity within yourself. So really coming together with yourself in alignment with yourself if you are somebody that is not in a relationship, all right? And then I have the seven of pentacles. No, I'm sorry, six of pentacles, six of pentacles. Six. So now some earth signs are out, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and this is what that six energy is coming into that stability. So what was once very shaky, what was once very logical, it wasn't coming from a hard space. It was coming from fear. It was coming from uh, feeling abandoned, feeling rejected, uh, a lot of inner wounds, a lot of things from childhood, a lot of past relationships were coming up, you know, individuals, um, individuals not being supportive of this or individuals playing any type of manipulation any type of any type of mind games any of that uh narcissism narcissism um traits not a narcissistic person but those traits because we all have those type of traits in us we all have uh something in us that is toxic we are not we are not we are not all saints out here okay so we're not even gonna sit here and um go there with that one there's always learning and growing and healing that we can do asking for forgiveness from others and from ourselves but things are coming into balance with this uh the six of pentacles i'm also seeing the water signs so there's water signs here air signs here um fire signs so i'm seeing all the signs here you could be dealing with any of these particular signs okay but again this was for all the signs collectively at this time are all signs love reading in this energy right now all right so anything energy is always energy is always always changing 
Remember that, all right? Stay in the energy of love for yourself and for each other. Peace, guys. Until next time.